Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in the Iguazu National Park with the Iguazu Waterfalls. I mean the awesome waterfalls you see in movies and stuff like that. That's right here and it's on the border of Argentina and Brazil and it's definitely one of the places you have to visit when you come to South America. And so I'm going to put together today is kind of my list of the cool places to check out when you do come to South America. And the thing is I want to focus on kind of bigger sites kind of things. So if you're trying to make an itinerary of seeing South America, these are ones that should probably show up on your list. And since I'm here in Iguazu, I'm going to start with Iguazu. Seeing the Iguazu waterfalls, whether you're on the Brazilian side or the Argentine side, is fantastic. Though I do recommend coming to the Argentina side because it's a bigger park and more hikes to do and stuff like that. And you can walk right to the edge on the Garganta del Diablo or the, the Throat of the Devil. You can go and see that and it is just gorgeous. You can take boat rides up into it as well. If you're in Brazil, you can see stuff. The really cool view of the whole falls is from Brazil side, but to get up into the falls is the Argentina side. So you can do both of those though. Now the second place on my list is actually a combination of Machu Picchu and Cusco in Peru. And that's like the heart of the Inca Empire. And the thing is, Machu Picchu is what you've heard of as the lost city of the Incas. That's it. And you go there and you've seen it with the mountain in the background and the buildings there. It is an amazing place to visit. You can do the Inca Trail, hike for a couple nights or two or three or four nights to go there. It is just awesome. Or you could take the train there. That is another option you can have, okay? When you go there, it is a fantastic place. And hiking up through there, seeing it all really is amazing how it's hidden in the jungle and when you're there you're probably gonna have a base in Cusco in Peru okay and Cusco was the capital of the Inca Empire and also one of the kind of capitals of, of Spain one of the Spanish capitals in inside of South America and the thing is you go there and there's all kinds of the cathedrals fantastic and they've built a lot of amazing buildings inside where former Inca temples were and things like that so when you go there it's got this great tourism infrastructure and you can go around get great tours eat so well I mean Peru's got great food and the thing is though you have around there there's the sacred valley and you you can go and see all the different temples and stuff like that around there. So it is a really, really cool place to check out. Now, the third place to check out, as I want to talk about here in Argentina, is Buenos Aires. Okay, now Buenos Aires is the, you know, the most European kind of city you would have here in South America. It had a lot of money in the 1800s, early 1900s. So there's amazing architecture when you're there. When you're driving around, you're looking out at your taxi, you're like, oh my God, that's an awesome building. That's an awesome building. That's an awesome building. And there's all kinds of great neighborhoods around there that's really worth checking out. Whether you're going to San Telmo on a Sunday, to see the markets there which is cool or going to Boca where they paint the buildings and stuff like that but for me it's going to the Recoleta Cemetery and seeing the tombs there and all kinds of things it's a fantastic place and of course when you're in Argentina you're gonna have the two reds right the red meat you know the beef is fantastic the beef at the chorizo oh my god it's so good or the red wines the the Sara or the or the Malbecs it is just awesome okay so the fourth place on our list is Rio de Janeiro Brazil and I know Rio's got a reputation for being unsafe and they you know before the Olympics a few years ago they were trying to scare people away from from visiting there. Look, this is a fantastic city. It is an awesome city. I've been there many times. And yes, it does have issues, okay? But the thing is, there's so many cool things to see there. Going to Sugarloaf and going up there, going up to see the Christ on the top, the views from there and seeing him is awesome. And the thing is, Rio was the capital of Brazil for a long time. So there's a lot of museums, public buildings to check out. But of course, when you go there, you want to hit the beaches. Of course, Copacabana and, and Ipanema are the famous beaches that are there. But if you're looking for a safe beach, I recommend going to Leme Beach. That's the place where we go and we stay when we are there. And the thing is, Rio is just a great time when you are there. Having the rodizio, you know, where they keep bringing the meats to you and stuff like that. It is really cool, okay? Now, the fifth place I have for you is the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador. Now, it's off the coast of Ecuador and you've got to fly out to there and it can be pretty pricey to go there. So that's one thing I want to let you know. But the thing is, when you go there, you see this ecosystem that is just unbelievable. Yes, the Galapagos, you know, you see the turtles, you see the fish, you see the, 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 <laughs> the blue-footed booby and things like that. There's just amazing, amazing wildlife when you are there and it is really really worth checking out. Now going from the ocean to a completely no water place, the next place I recommend you going is the Solar Uyuni, which is in the south of Bolivia. And the thing is you take a Jeep tour through these salt flats and there's like islands where there's stuff growing in these salt flats. And it is such a cool experience to go and see and do. And when you're staying out there and having the trip, it is such an awesome experience. And what you're usually doing is you're going across southern Bolivia and you're going down into the Atacama Desert where there's, you know, into Chile that way, okay? And there's a part where there's Laguna Colorada and you have, you know, Argentina 
Argentina, you can see, and you can see Boliv and you're in Bolivia, and you can see Chile. And it's just a, such a really cool place, so I do highly recommend doing that. And so that is the next one on our list. Now, next up, we have Ouro Preto, Brazil, and Minas Gerais. This is the colonial center where the mines were and all the money was from those mines. That's where we really see it with amazing, amazing churches when you are there. And Minas Gerais in general is like a really nice place. For me, best food in Brazil, relatively safe too, so you got some cool stuff to see, but Ouro Preto is the place to be. And when you're there, you can do a lot of day trips to Mariano or Tiradentes, so these kind of places to really explore and see colonial Brazil and see the amazing architectures there, but also there's a lot of outdoor activities, so that is kind of a cool thing. The eighth place on our list is Colonial. Colonia, Uruguay. And the thing is, is when you're coming to South America, you're usually not going to Uruguay. You're usually going to Buenos Aires or something like that. And the thing is, to get to uh, Colonia from Buenos Aires, it's like an hour on a ferry, but like it's probably like a two to three hour experience checking in, getting over there. But it's a really easy day trip to do from Buenos Aires. When you go there, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site because the historic center. So you wander through the historic center. It's one of those just relaxed, chill, super safe places to go. Go and eat, drink, make merry, and just relax when you're there. And it is really cool when you are there. So. That's number eight on our list. Now, number nine on my list is actually a kind of a big region, okay? It's going to Patagonia, which is the southern part of South America, you know, going to Argentina and, and the Andes and Chile and these areas. And it's so cool because, one, you can go see Glacier National Park and go see the glaciers there and stuff like that. Or you can explore the mountains there. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Or go to the seaside and you're there. That's where I got to see penguins going and whale watching and things like that and it's just really cool so you have this rugged south america when you are there so that's why patagonia is definitely a, a must when you are here and the thing is is if you're doing patagonia probably you're gonna be flying down from santiago or you might be flying down from from buenos aires and so what i want to say is of course i want to have to add the other side on there and when i say go to santiago santiago is a really cool city to check out a capital city in south america but what's cool is when you're there you can also do valparaiso and Viña del Mar, so you get like see the sunset as it's setting on the Pacific Ocean. Oh my God, it is one of the most beautiful sights you can see. Now the water's freezing cold, but it is a beautiful sight. And that whole little area there is a pretty good experience. I've always liked going to Santiago. You kind of stay in the center there and just have a nice time. Next on the list is, of course, you're in South America. Most people think of the Amazon and the and the animals and stuff like that. And yes, you can go to the Amazon, whether you're going to Manaus in Brazil, or you're going to be in the Peruvian side or the Ecuadorian side of the Amazon rainforest. You can do that. But the thing is when you go to the Amazon you don't necessarily always see animals yeah sometimes you'll get lucky when the when the, the Amazon's coming together you might get to see the dolphins going and stuff like that but a little side thing is if you want to really see animals and have a better chance of seeing them actually if you go to Pantanal in the south of Brazil and you go there you can go into the swamplands there and you really do see the the, the jacare the like the alligators and stuff like that alligator crocodile cousin that's there fish with the piranhas and stuff like that so you can do that I know I really loved it and if you're in a Pantanal you can go to a town called Bonito, which is like the, the, the capital of ecotourism in Brazil. So you can do like outdoor activities, you know, you're spelunking and you're canyoning and you're, you're whitewater rafting and stuff like that. So it is a really cool experience when you are there. So that's next on my list. And the thing is, there's so many cool places to check out here because I, I mean, I could name off tons of other little towns you might want to go see or bigger cities. I mean, Colombian going to Bogota, which is really cool, or Cartagena on the coast. Or if you want to do more in, in smaller towns, going to Cuenca in Ecuador. There's so many great towns to go to and visit in South America that I hope this video kind of gave you a few ideas of places you might want to check out because I've lived in Brazil. I lived in Argentina. I love both my experiences there. We've traveled with the kids throughout South America, so it's not some place you can't take your kids, okay? But you do want to make sure you pay attention with some safety stuff and things like that, but you do that anywhere you go. So I hope this helps you give a few ideas about how awesome South America is and some places to check out. What are some places you recommend people to come in South America? Because I know this list is pretty short, but I want to give people kind of like my favorite highlights. What are yours? Put in the comment section below so we can help other travelers find other cool places like Iguazu Falls or going to Rio or Preto or wherever, okay? Like for me, Bariloche, oh my god, Bariloche in the mountains of Argentina, that's another place we go. Or Mendoza, you want to fall in love with one? Go to Mendoza or you want to just chillax La Calma. Yeah, <laughs> the calmness in Chile is great. I mean, I mean, there's so many cool places. Arequipa in Peru. I mean, I, I gotta stop because that's why I try to make a kind of a condensed list so you have some good ideas. Anyway, if you want to learn more, the don'ts of Brazil, the don'ts of Argentina, things will shock you about Peru and Ecuador, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we've got a lot of videos, what you should know before you visit these countries as well, culture shocks and things like that. And the thing is, is I've always loved South America and I hope you will too. So I'll say bye from the Iguazu Falls here in Argentina. Adios.